students welcome to class 11 physics class today we discuss the next part of this chapter oscillation that is shm in last class we discuss about uh, the shm equation general equation of shm what is shm so in last class we studied this thing this equation number one that uh, normally the any oscillatory any oscillation that has a equation that is a uh, f equals to minus k x to the power n shm means simple harmonic motion so simplest motion that is called shm so for simplest motion that means a k n equals to 1 so the equation is f equals to minus k into x this is the equation for shm where k is constant force constant or it is called spring factor and uh, we also discussed that this force that f equals to minus k this force is called restoring force always towards its mean position it will act towards the mean position or its equilibrium position so it is defined as the restoring force produced by unit displacement k equals to f by x so for restoring force per unit displacement and its si unit k equals to f by x so f is newton and x is displacement that means meter newton per meter and then this negative sign shows that the displacement and the restoring force directed oppositely they are opposite in direction so now from second law newton's second law we studied the all everybody study we that uh, newton's second law and the famous equation that is f equals to m into a now if we compare equation 1 and equation 2 we get the expression for acceleration that is a equals to minus k by m into x now if any term if it will be multiplied or divided by any constant term so that term also be a constant so that k minus k by m that is also be a constant so we can write a is proportional to x that means acceleration produced uh, that is uh, also be directly proportional to, to its displacement so we can define shm in this way that the particle is said to be possess simple harmonic motion if it moves to and fro about a mean position under an acceleration which is directly proportional to its displacement from the mean position and it always directed towards that position towards that position means towards the equilibrium position so in this way we can also define the shm that is in terms of acceleration and the displacement clear now the uh, next uh, topic that is a differential equation of shm this is a normal equation normal equation of shm that is f equals to minus k into x now in differential that means in calculus method uh, what will be the equation of shm so in differential equation we studied that velocity v equals to dx by dt displacement per unit time and the acceleration that is dv by dt so if we want to uh, express acceleration in terms of displacement that means we can write a equals to d2x by dt square that is a second derivative of displacement so we start we considered that that equation that is uh, f equals to minus k into x and from the second law we get f equals to m into a because here we use the calculus method so in place of a we write its differential form that is d2x by dt square in terms of displacement now from equation and equation 1 and equation 2 if we compare this two we get minus kx equals to m into d2x by dt square so d2x by dt square that is equals to minus k by m into x now this k by m this is also be a constant and this constant is denoted by omega so minus omega eh, sorry omega square omega square x so in term place of k by m we write omega square omega represent angular frequency so omega equals to 2 pi into nu so d2x by dt square plus omega square x this is not a w this is a omega small omega d2x by dt square plus omega square x that is equals to 0 
This is the differential equation of SHM. So simple way we derive this. First we use the general form of uh, SHM that is simplest form f equals to minus k into x. Now we use the Newton's second law. In place of acceleration we write its differential form in terms of displacement that is d2x by dt square. Now we compare this two equation and after that minus k by m that k by m it is also be a constant and this constant is denoted by omega square. So we can write d2x by dt square equals to minus omega square x. So if it will come this side so it will be plus. So d2x by dt square plus omega square x that is equals to 0. This is the differential equation of SHM. Now any differential equation has a solution. In your mathematics it is also be there. I don't know it is included in class 11 or class 12. But it every differential equation in higher studies if you study the mathematical methods. Mathematical method it is a one branch of a physics okay. Fourier uh, series uh, many many things are there. They are all mainly depending upon this differential and calculus. So uh, and in class 12 also I think I don't know that it is included or not but you have to remember any differential equation either it will be second order or third order or fourth order any differential equation has a solution and here the because equation 3 this is a differential equation of SHM this has also a solution and we consider the solution is solution means whose solution we find out the solution of x displacement x so and we consider the displacement x equals to a cos omega t plus phi naught and uh, that means the solution on a uh, we can write in terms of cos or in terms of sine. Here we write the cos because of the calculation purpose. In calculation is easy if we use the cos. You, if you want to use the sine, you can also use, but it's calculation little bit complex compared to this. That's why we consider cos. So either it will it it can be written in terms of cos or it can be written as a uh, sine. So we consider its possible solution of this equation 3 that is x equals to a cos omega t plus phi. If now how can we consider or how can, why we agree that uh, this, this is the solution. So if we differentiate this equation and from this equation 4 if we get equation 3 that means x we get first we find out the first order derivative then second order derivative if we find out and if we get the equation number 3 from equation 4 that means if, if it is satisfy equation 3 then we can consider or we can prove that yes equation 4 it is a solution of equation 3 it is a solution of this differential equation so let's see how we can uh, it is uh, a perfect solution or not so we have this equation that is x equals to a cos omega t plus phi. So first we uh, discuss the notation a is the amplitude, amplitude of the particle, oscillating particle which will be oscillate that is the amplitude. Omega t plus phi naught this is a phase after this slide we discuss what is a phase. Phase means at any time of instant what is the state of the particle. What is its position of the particle? That is called its phase. So this omega t plus phi naught, this is a phase of the oscillating particle. And phi naught, phi naught is, is it, it is a it is this initial phase at when t equals to 0 second. When the starting point, what whatever its phase, that is a initial phase, or sometimes it is called epoch, epoch, e p o c h. Okay. Uh, so that is called initial phase it is noted by phi naught and omega omega is the angular frequency angular frequency that is equals to 2 pi into nu nu is the frequency so in terms of time to 2 pi by t and its a uh, unit is radian per second okay so let's see it will satisfy or not so x equals to a cos omega t plus phi naught so first we derivative first derivative dx by dt in terms of t so minus omega a cos as uh, cos derivative that will be minus sine minus so that's why we write the minus sine omega t plus phi naught okay 
Now again we differentiate it both sides with respect to t. So why we write the omega at first because the t term is attached with it. That's why omega t from omega t omega is right at outside and cos the differentiation of cos that is a minus sign that's why minus sign is the minus then it will write as a sign d2x by dt squared d2x by again omega it, it will come at first so it will be omega squared a and the differentiation of sign that is only cos plus cos not the negative sign with cos so negative sign also be there only cos omega t plus phi not so now a or cos omega t plus phi naught this term is represent x so that can be it can write minus omega square into x so we get d to x by dt square plus omega square x and that is equals to zero so this this solution whatever we consider it is a possible solution it will satisfy equation three so we can consider or we can we prove that this is a perfect solution of equation three and this equation is uh, this solution uh, th it gives the displacement of harmonic oscillator at any instant of time at, at any instant t clear so in here we first we find out the differential equation of shm then we consider one of its possible solution now after that from that solution we can satisfy the equation that differential equation so we can say that yes that is a perfect solution of that differential equation clear now the phase that uh, already we discussed the phase of a vibrating particle at any instant gives the state of the particle as regards its position and the direction of motion at that instant at that time what will be its position in which direction it will vibrate that that is called the phase of the oscillatory particle and it is denoted by phi in shm equation the phase that in a differential equation and the solution we write phi equals to omega t plus phi naught so here from here it is clear that that phi phase is it is a function of time t because omega t is here it is usually expressed either as a function of time period capital T or as a angle to pi. Okay. So here uh, we get an idea about the position of and the direction of the oscillatory particle. So that is a phase phi equals to omega t plus phi naught and x equals to a cos omega t plus phi naught. This is a solution. So if suppose first phase is zero that means at time t equals to zero so for phase is zero initial phase at initial phase the, its position is plus a that means positive side maximum extreme position if amplitude means maximum displacement about its mean position so this is a positive side maximum displacement of the particle that is the extreme position so the particle position in a, it is a positive direction and it will be the max extreme point now if uh, phase is it will be pi by 2 so if cos pi by 2 that will be 0 so the its phase will be 0 that means it is a its equilibrium position now again pi at pi we get minus a cos pi that is minus 1 so we get minus a that means it will also be an extreme position but in a negative side first it will go for extreme position then mean, uh, mean position or equilibrium position then extreme negative position then again 3 pi by 2 it will return back to its mean position or equilibrium position that is a 0 then 2 pi then again it will be plus a so first it will go plus then minus then mi then 0 then minus then 0 then plus so from extreme position is its tendency to go to its equilibrium position after crossing equilibrium it go to the negative extreme position after that it again its tendency to come back its ex, uh, ex, uh, equilibrium position so from here we get an idea about the position and the direction of the oscillatory oscillating particle now few terms uh, which is connected with the SHM and we know also know this but still we once recall these things 
harmonic oscillator the particle or that object which shows the oscillation which execute the simple harmonic motion that is called harmonic oscillator displacement the distance of the oscillating particle about from its mean position or equilibrium position at any instant it is called its displacement and displacement is denoted by x and this displacement is any kind it, it will be variable okay uh, why variable because when we studied uh, in class 12 you can understand uh, capacitor ac circuit you can understand there is a phasor diagram also with there so in that diagram you can understand why the displacement will be variable amplitude the maximum displacement of the oscillating particle on either side about its mean position it's called amplitude why either side because one is a positive plus a one is a negative minus a that's why either side it is denoted by a so x max that is equals to maximum displacement either it will be plus a or the minus a oscillation of cycle oscillation one complete back and forth motion of a particle starting and ending at the same point it is called a cycle or the oscillation or the vibration time period time taken to complete one or com oscillation that is called time period it is uh, denoted by capital t frequency frequency it is the reciprocal of time period it is defined as the number of oscillation completed per unit second or per unit time suppose you have one second in one second how many how many cycles or how many oscillation will be uh, completed that particle that is called its frequency it is denoted by nu and nu equals to 1 by t it is a reciprocal of time period so the unit of unit is second inverse or it can be written as hertz per second cycle per second because uh, per second we can count the cycles or in another one unit that is a hertz so si unit of frequency that is second inverse or cps or hertz clear these are the important terms which is connected with a shm okay so after that we studied after this uh, we studied the velocity and the time period acceleration velocity expression and the time period acceleration expression okay so uh, if you have any problem then please in the, write in a comment box thank you very much